everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video we have a comparison. We have the Huda Beauty Pastels Mint, which looks like this. And then we have the W7 Soft Hues in Aquamarine, which looks suspiciously similar. So um, if you've been with me for a while, you may know that I did do um, the neon range. So I did Huda versus W7 of the neon range. I think I did the pink and the orange. So we have the aquamarine and again, I don't know how they get away with it if I'm honest. It is absolutely insane how similar they are. They are not identical and the formulas are very different. But... I have done an eye of each today so one of these eyes is W7 one of these eyes is Huda Beauty I'm going to come up a bit closer and let you see in better detail so you can sort of see if there are any subtle differences very very similar in my opinion very very similar to look at the way they work is very very different um, I'll get into it shortly, but yeah, I did have trouble with one of the two palettes in certain areas. So we'll say this is eye number one. And this is eye number two. So I've used a palette on each, so, and I've used different brushes, so nothing sort of like mixed together or touched. And yeah, very, very similar. I don't think... If I went out like this, anyone would be like, why have you got non-matching eyes? I think they look very, very similar. I think I'd get away with that and I don't think anyone would notice. I am going to film some videos and I will see if anyone comments and says, uh, why have you got odd eyes? Because I don't think they will notice at all. So yeah, as always, W7 have ripped off Huda Beauty <laughs> and... I do think it's a little bit naughty because Huddy Beauty will spend, you know, months, if not years, developing, you know, colour stories, deciding what formulas to use and things like that. And then W7 don't do that and they don't spend the money on that. Therefore, they can give it to you a lot cheaper. Saying that, the formulas are different. So it's not like they've got the exact same formulas. In all honesty... I think the mattes in the W7 are better than the mattes in the Huda. And although the shimmers in the W7 aren't as pretty, they're much easier to work with because they're not um, cream shades. Whereas I think these are cream shades, does it say? Mint shimmer, bronze shimmer, silver shimmer. They are called shimmers or swirls so they're not even saying the cream shades but to me they are very almost wet i struggled putting on the shimmers on top of it a non-set base so that's something to bear in mind if you have this palette or you're looking to get it it doesn't really work with a sticky base at all um it doesn't even work with fingers with a sticky base it was really really hard to work with but saying that, now I know that, it might be easier going forward if I use a set base. Um, the W7 didn't really have any sort of problems working with a tacky base. So, yeah, that's something to bear in mind. What I'm going to do is I'm going to swatch them both side by side. And we'll see, you know, how similar each shade is. Because all the shades are identical or trying to be identical to one another. They've not even put an odd colour in there. It is all the same. So I'm going to swatch them all. You can sort of see the difference. Um, hopefully we'll be able to see the difference in formula as well as I'm doing it. And then I'll give you my, my thoughts at the end as well as to whether I think it's worth paying the extra or not. And as always, it is personal taste anyway. So if you want to pay the extra, you pay the extra. And... If you don't want to pay the extra, equally, don't pay the extra. It's not for me to tell you, but I just give you my opinion as to what, you know, whether I think it's worth it or not. That is interesting. So, the W7 swatches are not swatching half as well as the Huda for the 
the matte shades which was the complete opposite on the brush so the top one is Huda the next one is W7 I went over the Huda twice I went over the W7 about six times and it's still not as vibrant yet when used with a brush this is why I say swatches are not the be all and end all and they're a good indication but they are not you know gonna tell you how well they perform with a brush on your eye and that is why because i found the opposite when i was using this so i'm gonna go down i've started on the right hand side for no reason except for that's the the way i did my eyeshadow look initially and we're gonna go with the next shade which is like a sparkly brown i want to say it's a shimmer but it is a different formula to the other shimmers and the same for the W7 it is a different formula to the other shimmers and those are very similar in formula and colour I can't really give you a difference when I used both of those I found the same I found they worked very very similarly if not the same I wouldn't have known when using them which was which unless I was told um, then we've got the, the darkest um, teal shade, which is again is a matte shade. Oh, I'm doing the wrong one. One second, I'm getting out of order. Yep, so this is the teal shade. We've got the Huda, which looks amazingly vibrant on that swatch. And again, very, very similar on the eyes using a brush I did find that the W7 appeared to be more pigmented the um, Huda took a lot of building up to get it to any kind of um, you know strong colour and as you can see it's not that strong anyway it is still quite pale the darker shade is the colour that I've used up here and round here and yeah it's not that dark in comparison it may have been the brush I was using I don't know I did use a couple of brushes with it and it was just quite difficult to work with it blended fine and the W7 blended fine they were both perfect at blending it was just pigmentation that I was struggling with when I was applying it with a brush Um, so next we'll go to the top middle and this is the shade I've used on my lids now the Huda one did not like my eye base underneath it. That's the Huda one. As you can see, it's very see-through. There's not much colour, but there's a lot of glitter in that one. I'm just going to clean my finger so I'm not putting any of that glitter on the W7 one. And then the W7 one underneath, they're both really hard to see on camera, is similar but not quite as glittery i'd say the w7 one is actually a bit more packed with glitter but it's not as pretty as the hudder i think you can see it better when i'm swinging my arm but yeah those were both gorgeous in the pan but a bit disappointing in real life they might be good as a topper but they certainly weren't great as a sort of straightforward colour this next one that's Huda I've used that in my inner corner and you can definitely tell the difference and um, so I'll come closer so here I've used whichever brand this one is and here I've used whichever brand this one is as you can see they do look quite different I don't know whether I said earlier but I want you to let me know in the comments which is which before we get to the end and then at the end I will tell you so we've got one and two what num what's number one and what's number two so this is the w7 one. Oh, i can't even see it on camera <laughs> it's there it's there it's really not there you go you can see it now and then this color i didn't use this is like a turquoise and um teal mix that one was very wet oh okay so the w7 is very mushy <laughs> the shade of this one is very mushy but again 
very similar. I'll show you the pans and I'll show you what I mean. So I've, I've dipped into this and it's still quite solid. That's the Hudder. I only lightly dipped into all these shades, but you can see how trashed they are. Then we've got the lightest turquoise matte. That's Hudder. W7. Again, not really much in it. I'm running out of room. I'm going to start on the other arm. Then we've got the brown and green um, stripey. Oh gosh. Yeah, the W7 consistency is kind of gross, but it does work. So those are both brown and green, but as you can see, they come off a lot different, those two. But yeah, I just stuck my finger in again and it was just so mushy, the W7. But it works well on the eye and that is the main thing, I think. And then finally, we've got a brown matte and both of these I wasn't really that struck with. I have used both these mattes on my eye, but they are so pale. I think we could have done with a darker shade in here that we could use as a bit of a contrast. That's the two mattes. So I have used those on the outer corner, but as I say, I've used them underneath and on top. They kind of disappear because they are really too pale. So here we have all the shades for some reason these ones are around the corner and other than the fact that when you stick your fingers in the w7 it goes mushy so i do think it's not going to last as long swatch wise there isn't much in it at all so on to my thoughts Honestly, when I was using the um, the products, I preferred the W7 when I was blending, when I was trying to get pigmentation, everything else, I preferred the number 7, including the weird mushy shades. They work better than, in my opinion, than the Huda did when I was trying to use a brush to get them on my eyes. I even struggled using my finger trying to get some of the shimmers onto my eyes, um, particularly the middle one. So particularly this one here, oh sorry it's not the hudder. So particularly this one here I really struggled with. I struggled to make it show up. I struggled with the formula, the consistency. It's probably a case of um, me being an, a novice and not knowing exactly how to apply it. That's probably some of it. So I'm not going to blame the product entirely. However, the W7 was perfect. It was dead easy to use and I didn't have any of that trouble at all. Um, the mattes went on a lot easier, the W7. They both kick up, so if you can see from my swatches, the W7 has quite a bit of kick up in the matte shades, but so does the Huda. Not quite as much in the Huda, but it still does have kick up um, more than I'd like. So again, both of those have issues with kick up. Um, this was like... I didn't get them in a set. I think I got them singly. I think it was $4.99. Something like $4.99. And I think once these come out in B&M, because B&M always get these, they'll be cheaper than that. Usually B&M is like, maybe like 20 or 30% cheaper. This one, I think, is £27. £4.99, £27. So you can get like near enough... I don't know, five, six of these for the price of this. Is it worth that much extra? No, I'd say no. Um, before I go, I'm just gonna tell you which is which and I'm just gonna talk you through what I feel about the shadows actually on my eyes because although I preferred the W7 application wise, I do feel like the Huda looks better, if that makes sense. So I'm going to cover it closer and we're going to talk through 
what I think of you know the look itself. Just to clarify this is Huda and this is W7. Now I feel like the Huda looks better as you can see it's well I don't know whether you can see it's hard to see they look so similar it's really hard to see but I'm trying to get a good angle I can't. The Huda is more sparkly I'll shut my eyes see if you can see better like that. I feel like the Huda is more sparkly. Certainly the colour I used on my inner corner on this side. It's brighter, it's shinier, it's spar more sparkly. I feel like it's blended better round here than it has round here. Again, that would show that the Huda does blend better. Although when I was actually physically doing it, I didn't see the difference and it felt like the W7 was just as good. But in hindsight, yeah, I do think that this side is blended better. So long story short, the Huda is better, I think. Although it's harder to work with, it is a better palette, but it is harder to work with. So I wouldn't recommend it if you're not, you haven't got the patience. If you just want to do a quick look and you just want to slap it on and go, this is your man. If you want to get the best quality and achieve the best final look this is your man especially if you're you know creating looks that you want to look flawless I would say go with this one but if you just make looks of fun you just want to do a look for a night out no one's actually going to look that closely to know that it's not quite as blended as it could be I would say go with the W7 there is no need to spend the extra money unless you're a makeup artist or you know it's your career you really need a flawless look I wouldn't bother I would go with the W7 so yeah I hope that was very informative for you um I do have the lilac one as well and the li the lilac number seven and the lilac hooder so that one is going to be next I also have these two W7s that I got ages ago from B&M I've not even tested those yet so I might give these a go in the near future as well if that's something you're into make sure you hit that subscribe if you're not already subscribed and turn on the bell so you're notified when I do do the um lilac one but for now thank you so much for watching I hope you did enjoy this video if you did Give me a thumbs up, it helps my channel a lot and I'll see you in a video again soon. Bye!